Okay, just stay with me, everybody. This is kind of a difficult piece, but look how it's starting to come to life. And I'm not being perfect. I'm kind of having fun. Look at all the crap on here. Uh, after we get the we got the windows in, we kind of gave you the idea. We've got some beat up boards here. I'm going to throw some lines on here and some lines here. Um, look at that. So see how the big the big ones coming to life. I've kind of have I brought some dark under here here. Just kind of stay with me. I'm going to take some burnt umber and some black and look what I'm going to do here. Underneath you've got a shadow. Um, I'm going to take some of the dark over here. There's a board. I'm just going to throw it on. Just throw it on. This is how loose watercolors are kind of fun. Look at the, I'm going to take some black and burn umber again. I kind of strengthened some boards over here. They And there's always like little junk and crap on these buildings. Maybe there's a line there and a line there. Um line here. I put some more lines in here. I took a little bit of alizarin and crimson with them. Oops, I got my hand in it. That's what happens when you're left-handed. You booger stuff up. Now look what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my liner brush and I'm taking a little bit of um, ultramarine blue and whatever I've got on here, some burn umber, just some, just some junk on here. Burn umber and a little bit of ultramarine blue. Going to water it down and I'm going to do the little slats that you see on top of here after this is dry. This should be nice and dry. Just going to take the liner brush, really fun, and just going to, again, make sure you got enough water so it's moving. Just give the idea that um, it's got little shingles. And maybe you've got a shingle coming this way. Even if you have to, go sideways. Do a shingle sideways if it's easier for you, and you got another shingle here. Doesn't have to be perfect, and then maybe you don't have to do every shingle. Remember, we're doing a loose piece. This is really loose, but it's really fun. Look how it's coming to life. And again, if your shingles look a little dark, just take your napkin. You can always. Here we've got some shingles here. We've got some side, some side um, paneling stuff on the side. I took the um, ultramarine blue again and black. I'm just going to took my napkin and I just gave it a wipe. There's also like, they almost look like they're, um, I don't know what they are. They're like, um, boards. <laughs> here's some boards. So let's just kind of give the idea that you have some boards here. Just going to slap them in. And they're a little darker. Or, or like um, two by fours. One there, one there, one there, one there. And then you can just kind of go in between them. Boom, 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 boom. There you got, you're looking underneath. Look at, you don't have to be perfect. Look at that, how it's starting to come to life. Uh, these were like the little metal things that hold the door on. You, they don't have to be perfect. Remember, we're loose as a goose on this thing. I'll bring a little dark under here, a little dark under here. Get that a little wetter. That looks good. And I can always come back and just fine-tune some of the um, boards on here. It's just taking... Flick with your wrist, and you can just kind of create boards. See how we, we took something that looked pretty flat? And look, you can keep, gave it some dimension. You can keep working on your windows. See how we have the darker, lighter brown showing underneath here? That looks kind of great. So now we've got some boards. We've got this. This was a bush, so I just kind of brought the dark up against where there's going to be a bush here. So this needs to be nice and dry, and I'm going to show you a little trick. You can take straight, um, it's not all the way dry, but we're going to give it a go. Straight ultramarine blue. And I've got my number four. I'm going to take some straight ultramarine blue. And I'm going to go, I'm going to create 
this, see that strong shadow? So we have the dark under the rung. Remember, we put that in. I'm going to put this strong shadow. This ultramarine blue, just straight ultramarine blue. It's watered down pretty well. It's going to go right over the top of this. As long as this is dry. Straight ultramarine blue. See the hard brush line? And it just goes clear across. And I can give this, I can tighten that up. And that shadow would go all the way over to here. There's a shadow. There's a shadow. And this shadow kind of goes down on the side of the building. This is just straight ultramarine blue, really watered down, and that just kind of created a light shadow. It looks pretty good. And then if you ever feel that you're too white up here, just take, you probably have enough color on your brush. Just kind of, sometimes you can wake up the paint that's already on here. It just kind of makes it so it's not so clean. I just took a little bit of water, and it just picked it up off the roof line. And we're starting to get, that looks pretty good. So, and again, you can just kind of come back here and mess around with some of these boards that are in the front. I always have a napkin. You can always, I'm always daubing. That looks pretty good. Got a nice dark under here. Uh, got a line here. If you want to add a little bit of fluff, you can take a little bit of alizarin crimson and throw a little color right there. Just gives it some fun. It's not so blasé. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. We've got kind of have, and I, like I said, you can always clean this stuff up. I never, this can always be last on your list. You can always cl clean these up, but the, the charm about these pieces are, um, they are kind of misshapen and kind of beat up. And you can come back on your two by fours and darken those up. So that's our next one. Next, what we're going to do is we'll get our trees in and we'll get our foreground and we'll be finished.